True. Yeah. Um, in in a, in a concept of different uh, members of faith. Uh, living together fit peacefully and 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 that Glenn is supporting and living and, and telling the others to, to live in, in this line uh, what do you what do you see of the as we call Anatolian the Turkish people uh, in, in their tolerance and understanding and mutual respect I experienced mutual respect and tolerance and understanding in Turkey uh, with the Turkish people I met and also with the Turkish people I've met here in my state. Um, I find them to be uh, very kind and tolerant um, and they entertain uh, all faiths and they respect all faiths and they respect the leaders of all faiths. With the, along the trip, when you were on this trip, uh, have you ever encountered any, any reaction towards America, Americans, or simply maybe Westerns, Westerners? Uh, from the Turkish people, especially from the Glen moment? I never encountered the slightest negative feeling in Turkey. Uh, we were, of course, people would recognize that we were not Turkish people when we were visiting mosques and other places, but people were, were always very polite and very warm and direct. and. Um, I really felt um, a connection to a number of people that I met there, certainly the school children, uh, older people um, uh, with whom I had very little in common except perhaps we shared a look or a smile or a, a gesture. Um, I, ca I encountered nothing negative at all. And uh, I think some people would be surprised by that because some people in this country think that people in other countries hate us. And I certainly didn't find that to be true in Turkey, just the opposite. So you said you visited the mosques <coughs> and everything. So what was uh, your perception? What was the feelings you got, um, like in, in general, like mosques or, or or people praying and call for prayers? I've often said since we came back from Turkey that I miss hearing the call for prayers every day. It's a very nice reminder um, to uh, think of God and think of, of, of praying to God and to think of the important things. It's, it's nice to have that reminder every day. Um, I found the mosques to be um, very beautiful, quiet places for contemplation and reverence and prayer. And I felt uh, at home and perfectly free to say prayers of my own when I visited mosques. Uh, I found it to be a lovely experience and something completely new and different, something I had never experienced before. Uh, some some professors, uh, scholars, and community leaders say that uh, c c thinking that all these service, uh, the activities, the uh, the advice of Gulen in terms of violence-free generations, in a sense. Uh, and they, they taught Glenn should be nominated to Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, what, do you, what do you think of this? I heard that um, a while back and it sounded like a very good idea to me. Uh, I happened to see one of our Nobel Peace Prize winners, Jimmy Carter, on the television the other night. And as a matter of fact, I, I thought of Fethullah Gulen at that moment and thought that Mr. Gulen is, is certainly 
um, made many efforts to promote world peace in his lifetime and is still doing so. Um, I think that would be very nice. I would applaud that.